What's up? Warning, listening to Alaska Real Estate has been linked to wealth accumulation syndrome with unlimited potential. Otherwise known as what's up? Symptoms may include increased listings, prolonged sense of accomplishment, and an unstoppable, unslinkable enthusiasm. What's up? Welcome back to Alaska Real Estate Podcast, the nerve center of all things real estate. I'm Chris Story, your host for Great Adventures in Real Estate. On today's program, Mr. Matthew Ferry, the doctor of happiness, the sensei of sensational, the master of ridiculous bliss, Matthew will share with us his brand of motivation. You can't afford to miss a minute of Matthew Ferry. Nobu Hata, he's back with tech knowledge. So you've generated the leads. Now what? Nobu to the rescue. And Claire Woolno brings us our Alaska USA mortgage brief right here on the greatest show on earth, Alaska Real Estate. Please don't deactivate me. If you've got questions about the energy rebate program or weatherization program or how about your clients, well, tell them to visit akrebate.com, akrebate.com for all the answers. Alaska Housing Finance Corporation, your Alaskan-owned finance company providing affordable and safe housing. Call toll-free 1-800-478-AHFC. Thank you to Alaska Housing for sponsoring this show. Now please welcome Matthew Ferry to Alaska Real Estate, a true thought leader making some pretty big waves in the pool of happiness all across this great country. Matthew has trained and coached over 8,000 agents. And today, he's here to coach you. Matthew, you say that happiness is the vital ingredient for creating success and not the result of achieving success. And, and that's where I'd like to go with you. All right. When we think about the real estate market, it, and it's changing, and it is cyclical, everybody knows that, but we think in terms of homeowners, realtors, maybe mortgage bankers, we lost 500,000 of those guys here in the last couple of years. But what about you? How has coaching business leaders and realtors changed for you in terms of, of 2011 compared to how you coached during, say, the mid-2000s? Feeling good has become uh, the absolute highest priority. And uh, today, as I'm coaching some of the, you know, the biggest real estate agents out there in the country, people who are doing you know, literally 15, 20 deals a month, you know, of course I'm coaching many people who are doing you know, one or two deals uh, a quarter as well. But as I'm coaching these people, Big, big, big thing is I've got to be able to be in a good place because as I'm dealing with the buyers and the sellers right now, they are freaking out, they're scared, they're upset, there's a lot of uncertainty. And so me bringing any uncertainty into the conversation is detrimental to the possibility of me actually getting the deal. And oftentimes the clients that I'm working with, Chris, Their fear, the fear in the realtor, is actually screwing up the transaction. So getting into a a very secure, powerful mental place is, hands down, one of the most important things that I'm working on right now. Balance. It's one of the most difficult things, and I think that is, is maybe where we're headed here, is finding balance so that as the realtor, I can eliminate that fear and not, as you say, bring it into the transaction with me. I would not say balance as much as I would say acceptance. Really? What do you mean? Well, one of the things that I work with people on is total and complete acceptance of the business that they're in, the people that they're working with, accepting themselves, accepting the situation, because acceptance is really the great healer. So acceptance is going to heal the conflict, the upset. It's going to correct imbalances that that people have in their mindset. And it's going to reduce the amount of negative emotions that they're feeling. And acceptance doesn't mean that you're going to put your head in the sand. It just means that you're going to, with humility, recognize you're not the Lord of the universe and you don't determine how everything goes. (laughs) And uh, I find that most people have accidentally assumed they are, in fact, the Lord of the universe. It reminds me of one of your blog posts where you're counseling one of your clients that's earning a very handsome twelve dollars to $15,000 a month, but with a goal and a mindset of thirty, and they feel like crap. That's right. They feel like a loser because they're comparing themselves against a standard that doesn't exist. And the, the listen, there's a lot, a lot to be said for using contrast or using comparison to drive yourself forward. And, and so many top-performing people do utilize that technique. The only problem is 
is that most of those top performing people already have a baseline of extreme effectiveness. And so they're able to push themselves saying, you know, I can do this, and, they're, and, and it creates this energy. But, Chris, most of the people that I'm dealing with, most of the people I talk to, you know, they don't have that baseline of sort of emotional security and confidence. So when they're comparing themselves to these greater numbers, they're actually utilizing it to degrade themselves. They're not building themselves up. They're degrading themselves. And that's the thing that I ask people to be careful of. You can't degrade yourself and then excel. You actually have to, you have to build yourself up in order to excel. I like that. I like that a lot. And, and we're talking about acceptance. How do we accept the imbalance then between a busy life where we're running our business at full tilt, trying to maintain some semblance of a family, and, oh, yeah, our health and exercise? Well, listen, it, it, it all in real estate, if you're a solo entrepreneur, which is what a real estate agent is, what you're missing is what makes business work. What makes business work is structure, process, procedure. And so many of us, and I'm, I'm included in that same game, I've got a small business, I have two employees in my business, so I would be considered a solo entrepreneur. So many of us, we leave the big business world because we don't want to be dominated. We want freedom. But what happens is we go into real estate to get freedom, and what we get is we get dominated by the our inability to control all the requests and the tasks and the action items that are coming our way. So it really comes down to the, the first thing is you've got to create standards for yourself, create standards for your business, what time you're going to get in, what time you're going to leave, what days you'll work, what days you won't work, right? Now, I say those kinds of things to real estate agents, and they're like, how can I, you know, I need to be there when my client needs me. <laughs> no, right. you don't need to be. They don't expect you to be, but because you make yourself available, they're happy to take advantage of it. And if you didn't make yourself available, then they wouldn't want, they don't need you that day. And this is where a lot of people go a little bit nutty, but you've got to create a schedule. And then you've got to work on probably the, the most important thing to keep your sanity is what I call taking your meds. <laughs> meds stands for meditation or prayer, exercise, diet, and sleep. Those are the first four key essentials. Those are the things that happen first and then life happens second. If you'll get those four things in, then you'll naturally be more effective at work, you'll naturally be more present with your children, you'll naturally be more present with your spouse, your lover, your hobbies, all the things that you're doing. To hear the rest of my conversation with Matthew after the program, click on Motivation and hear more from Matthew Ferry. He takes us through what he calls the perfect game. It's fascinating, inspirational, and take it from me, very useful. Hello, this is Claire Wolno from Alaska USA Mortgage in Fairbanks, and I would like to talk about VA loans. This is a zero down loan with no mortgage insurance. VA will finance from a one unit to a four unit property, which includes manufactured homes and approved condos. VA does allow you to have more than one VA loan at a time. If a veteran decides to keep the original home as a rental or second home, then there may be enough entitlement remaining on their VA certificate for another VA loan. All right, thanks, Claire. For all things mortgage, alaskausamortgage.com. Alaska USA Title Agency sponsors our tech knowledge. When it comes to quality service, fast, friendly, and always professional, that's Alaska USA Title Agency. From my personal experience, I highly recommend them. You can find Alaska USA Title online at alaskausatitle.com or anywhere in the state, give them a call at 877 877- Six four six six four nine eight. Thank you to Alaska USA Title. Now here's our very own tech guru, Nobu Hata. So we've got the technology to capture these leads. How can we use technology to be more effective and take advantage of those leads? Yeah, I mean, first of all, what you need to do is is, is really kind of rethink your definition of lead gen. We aren't the gatekeepers anymore. I don't know if you all have noticed that, but. It, it, 
we aren't the guys, the, the gatekeepers to all things real estate. Real estate is everywhere now. It's, it's ubiquitous with online search. I mean, I've, I've talked with some folks where actual time it took for folks to reach out to them can be anywhere from 9 to 20 months. So if we're talking in some areas two years, you have to start thinking long term. But nonetheless, what happens is, is, is use what you've got and where you are online, your presence online as your beacon, right? And turn off all the noise, especially with Facebook. Twitter, be very cognizant of who's following you. Follow back, even if it's a guy that has, you know, two followers but is interacting. You don't know who's online anymore with the amount of folks who actually go out and, and stalk you online, mining you for information, which is what you want to be doing, especially with your blog. Be wary of who's commenting and, and interact with folks. Don't be afraid to freely give up information to folks who are, in the end, going to be very brand loyal to you and your business. After you kind of get a group of folks who are in your pipeline, you know, to use a Realtor 1.0 term, what I do is organize them into lists because inevitably what happens is you, they reach out to you, you talk, maybe one out, of, one out of the three or four buyers who have interacted with you online is ready to buy now, maybe with, through some financing snafus or something like that. Organize them in a list, kind of like we do with our regular sphere. Your type A, ready to buy now. Type B, they take, may take a little longer. And what I do is work with the type A's, give those guys priorities. And the type B's, I actually give them the tools for them to go out and either look into financing or preview homes online. What I like to do is give people Google Map Street View links to all the listings that they're interested in. And they can actually take a virtual walkthrough of the area. It actually, it takes very little time. Um, everything can be done via email. But what you want to do is keep feeding these folks information that they're looking for. It turns into a very brand loyal thing when you're giving away the information. Give it a shot. It's something that is worth trying. Are you recommending any contact management program over another? Yeah, and that's what uh, you really need to look at the, at the nitty gritty of your business now. Now, what I talk to agents about is, it, you know, Facebook, there's a reason why things like Top Producer, which has been for decades been the go-to client resource management tool, is now using social plugins. See where your friends and your sphere and these leads are coming from now and adapt to that. So um, Top Producer actually has always been a really good one. And now that it's online based and you can still get your email through it and now with the social plugins, for most agents, Top Producer is going to work. Otherwise, I know agents who have just gotten away with using Facebook. And full of technology. But not as much as me, see, but I still love technology. Well, that's it for this edition of Alaska Real Estate. I want to thank Sandy Ehrenman and the Alaska Association of Realtors for making this possible. For all of us at Alaska Real Estate, I'm Chris Story.